Welcome, family and friends. On behalf of Donald and Shelby, I know they're very happy that you can be here with them on this very special day. Who presents this woman to this man in marriage? Dad. He does. Oh, I'm sorry. That's okay. Mm -hmm. Who presents this woman to this man in marriage? I do. Excellent, sir. Thank you so much. And please be very careful on the way down. Oh, I'm going to. Okay, excellent. And then you can come on down with the other guests. Thank you. This afternoon, we're gathered in, together in sight of God for a very special and joyous occasion. You can keep your bouquet, okay. it's okay. <laughs> and that is to witness and bless the joining together in marriage of Donald and Shelby. Marriage is a beautiful relationship between two people. It's a union founded on love. Shelby, I'll go ahead and take your bouquet for you. So the ladies of heels don't need to. And then I'll have the two of you join both of each other's hands facing each other. And I asked you to join hands as a symbol of the union that you're making here today. And I want you to think about the hands that you're holding. Because these are the hands of your very best friend holding your hands on your wedding day. Promising to love you and work with you as you build your future together. These are the hands that will give you strength when you need strength. Tenderness when you need tenderness, and love when you need love. These are the hands that will also hold all of whom you love. And these are the hands that through your lifetime together will wipe tears of sorrow from your eyes, but hopefully many, many more tears of joy. And these are the hands that years from now will still be searching for your hands, still seeking the love, encouragement, and support that each of you will give to one another. All of these things brought you right here to Valley of Fire, to the very beautiful Rainbow Vista with your nice group of family and friends all ready to say your marriage vows to one another. And it's important to understand that these vows cannot be made lightly. And I know the two of you realize this. These vows need to be made with a great deal of consideration and respect. With that thought in mind, Donald, I have a question for you. Do you take Shelby to be your wife to live together in marriage, to love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful only to her as long as you both shall live. I do. Then please repeat after me. I, Donald, take you, Shelby, to be my wife. I, Donald, do take you, Shelby, to be my wife. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold. From this day forward, I promise to be your true and loyal husband. I promise to be your true and loyal husband. And to love and honor you always. And to love and honor you always. I do this because. I do this because. I love you today. I love you today. I will love you tomorrow. I will love you tomorrow. And I will love you forever. And I will love you forever. Shelby, are you ready to say your marriage vows? Yes. Then I also have a question for you. Do you take Donald to be your husband? to live together in marriage, to love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful only to him as long as you both shall live. I do. Then please repeat after me. I shall be, take you Donald, to be my husband. I shall be, take you Donald, to be my husband. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold from this day forward. I promise to be your true and loyal wife. I promise to be your true and loyal wife. And to love and honor you always. And to love and honor you always. I do this because. I do this because. I love you today. I love you today. I will love you tomorrow. I will love you tomorrow. And I will love you forever. And I will love you forever. And now, because today's all about love, and I know the two of you wouldn't be here if it wasn't, I have a reading for you from the Corinthians, a chapter of love. Love is patient, love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud. It is not rude, it is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered, it keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails, but where there are prophecies, they will cease. Where there are tongues, they will be stilled. Where there is knowledge, it will pass away. Yet these three will remain, hope, faith, and love. And the greatest of these is love. And now if I can have you each very carefully just hold one another's wedding ring for a moment.
There we go. Throughout time, the wedding ring has been a symbol of unending love because like time, your rings have no beginning and no end. They're a circle. They're the emblem of eternity. They're also made of metals that are least likely to tarnish. These things symbolize the pledges that you just finished making to one another. But above all else, your wedding rings will now be an outward and visible sign signifying to all the uniting of this man and this woman in marriage. Donald, please place Shelby's ring on her finger. Hold it there and repeat mm -hmm. after me. Shelby, I give you this ring. Repeat after her. Go ahead. Shelby, I give you this ring. Shelby, I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love. And as a reminder. And as a reminder. That I have chosen you. That I have chosen you. To be the one. To be the one. To share my life. To share my life. Shelby, please place Donald's ring on his finger. Hold it there and repeat after me. Donald, I give you this ring. Donald, I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love. And as a reminder. And as a reminder. That I have chosen you. That I have chosen you. To be the one. To be the one. To share my life. To share my life. Go ahead and slide it all the way off. And then I'll have the two of you face this way, just hand in hand. Let me give you your lovely bouquet back. Thank you. In just a moment, I'm going to pronounce you husband and wife. Before I do that, I'd like to say a couple brief things about marriage. They're brief, and they're things the two of you know, but the important part is to keep them in mind. Marriage is being in love for the rest of your life. It's love walking hand in hand with your very best friend. It's thinking of new things to do together. It's laughing about the silly things in life with care and tenderness. It's trusting each other, even though from time to time, the two of you may be very far apart. It's getting over disappointments and small hurts, knowing that these are present from time to time in every relationship. It's the realization there's no one else in the world you'd rather be with, and certainly no one else you'd rather be married to. It's growing old together, but most of all, marriage is being in love for the rest of your life. Donald and Shelby, you've said your marriage vows to one another, witnessed by God and your family and friends here today, and some extras. You've sealed those <laughs> vows with the giving and the receiving of the wedding rings. So now it's my very great honor to pronounce you husband and wife. And Donald, you may kiss your beautiful bride and your new wife. Big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Mr. and Mrs. Donikowski, it's official. They are married. Woohoo!